Are you still out of it? Uh, yes. Oh, don't mind, so no fun. Oh, we need to choose. Choosing your stuff. Oh, that's neat. Ooh. I'm just surprised that Mr. Shamoon has tuned in. Yeah. I'm doing the Tudino work. Uh, li like this. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Paul. Is it up? When we're live? Right. So... We, we, got, we got voice mics. Can you, am I coming in clear? Okay, so... I will go through my army first. I am running Sons of Behemoth. I got... Gargants and Gargants for days. Mm-hmm. Um, both of the Gargants are Kraken Eaters, uh, so they're the sea dwelling. The, they're out to go and kick the crap out of some fish, so it's all thematic here. Um, so I'm the Taker Tribe. Each model counts for 30, and the... Is that just on the big boys? The, yeah, the big boys count for 30, and the small guys count for 15 each. Okay. okay, and then um, my list has the three man eaters, uh, man crushers for my battle line. It's in one large unit, giving me the discount. Uh, and then I have a mercenary in the back, which is the arch regent. Doesn't give me a command point in the first round, but I bought a command point. Um, the command trait is uh, very acquisitive. So the general, which is this guy, he has. The Sorry, Kraken Sandals, which gives uh, has an attack characteristic of three instead of two, red characteristic of three instead of minus two, and a damage characteristic, characteristic of three instead of D3. Um, and then he has the other artifact because the command trait gives him an artifact. So he's taken an artifact, and that's the Jaws of the Megalodon. Once per phase, you can reroll one hit roll, one wound roll, or one attack made by the bearer, or one save roll for an attack that targets the bearer. You cannot use this ability to reroll more than one die for one. So he has the Jaws of the Megalodon, which is around his neck there. Um, that is everything. So, oh, on my endless spells, I have the Horgast, which minus one to your bravery within 12 inches, minus two within six inches. Mm -hmm. okay? It's a predatory that can move. Mm -hmm. Chalice of Ulcheron, which can heal units that are flesh eater courts in, within six inches of it uh, for every model that's slain on a four plus. Okay? Yeah. And then I got the Emerald Life Swarm. Mm -hmm. And then I have the Penumbral Engine, which is uh, my terrain piece, which I will figure out if it either gives me all units within 12 of it, Mystic Shield, Mystic shield or an extra command point. Sweet. And it changes every round. Sweet. And what do you have for Triumphs there, Colin? I have no Triumphs. Or oh, yeah, you um... take your Tribe. If I kill a, a hero with an artifact, I get a Triumph. Okay. Okay. That's what the Taker Tribe does. Cool. And what do you have for auxiliaries? Auxiliaries is prized possession. Uh, when you reveal this auxiliary objective, pick one friendly hero with an artifact of power in, in, in your starting army. You complete this auxiliary objective if the hero has not been slain by the end of the battle. I'm going to choose this guy. Okay. Uh, not the general. Um, the territorial is 
is uh, control an objective for two round, two consecutive battle rounds, and then you will win it. Wow. That's my army. Cool. Uh, I'm playing Ineth Deacon. I'm playing Iark, the, the friendly sea elves. Uh, so my general over here, which is a uh, Arcalian queen, uh, she, her command, her, uh, yes, her trait is emissary of the deep places, which gives my allies, uh, go check. The ability is the ties of death, as yeah. if he was Iric, or as a, as if he was uh, Idneth. Uh, and then she's got the uh, the potion. So once per game, uh, at the start of the combat phase, she can swig it, and until the end of that combat phase, she gets plus one to hit and wound rolls for all of her attack profiles. Uh, for uh, my tie caster, uh, I'm going to take. Uh, I don't actually think it matters for a spell. Uh, actually, we'll take St uh, Steve of Tides for her. Uh, lore spell, which is a 24-inch uh, deep strike for any uh, hero that is not a behemoth. Uh, and yeah, fairly straightforward army. Cool. Uh, and oh, oh yes, and then auxiliary objectives. Uh, Prayer of the week. Uh, complete this auxiliary objective if all the battle line units in my opponent's army are destroyed before the end of the battle. Uh, marked for death, uh, when you reveal this objective, your opponent must pick one unit in their destroying army that is not a hero. You complete this object objective if that unit is destroyed. It's got to be the man crusher then. Okay, sweet. So that's fairly straightforward. So you're getting both of them if you take that, that unit out? Yes. Because that's my only battle line te technically. Yes. Because they all three in one unit counts as all of my battle lines. So yep. Man crushers and tracking unit. Oh, yes. And then for... Uh, extra spells, I've got a Bale and Vortex. Cool. And, which I need to get those cards for mine when it comes out. Uh, so the Arch region has two spells, two right. unbinds. Okay. Sweet. Uh, and he also... Once per game, summons dudes. Yes, four command points. Okay. okay. Which can be either Crypt Ghouls, Crypt Flares, or Crypt Horrors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's me. I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, I finished setting up first, so I will give first turn to you. To me? How dare you, Colin? How... You're, you're short and dumpy. How doubly double dare you? Uh, okay. All right. We start the game by getting a command point. Okay. So it is one a piece. Uh, spells. He will cast... We will cast the Realm Spell, uh, which is Wild Form. Uh, we yeah. will try and cast it onto Gotrek. Oh, yes. Uh, another thing for Eric is my, all my wizards get plus one to casting, unbinding, and spelling. Uh, going off on N11. You are clear. Sweet. So Gotrek is super speedy, plus two to run and charge. Uh, then we will do a ritual to Mathland. Uh, the catalyst will be the tie caster. You need a 10 on 2d6. It's only neat, so nothing happens. Uh, that's the command phase. Into movement. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the obvious one, uh, go trick. Mm. Do I care enough to make that a 6? I don't know if I do. That's fine. He will... Drag up a mighty seven. Ugh, this guy again. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the first one to the fight. Yep. Where else would he be, Colin? My God. Uh, do I care enough to have anyone else go? How much do the Mega Gargants go? Eleven. They go eleven? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is terrifying. Okay. Well. Their, their movement decreases uh, as a chart. Oh, for the Megas? Yeah. This is good to know. <laughs> Actually. Let me get 
get to there. And that's fine. Uh, these eels are going to run. 14.3 uh, is 17. They've got, what, like, three inch reach, Colin? You're gonna what? They've got, what, like, a three inch reach? Uh, for, yeah, most of their items. Um, their attacks are two inch for a mighty stomp and three inch for everything else. So, the death grip and the shipwreck are warp up. I'm interested in fighting that turtle with the, with the death grip. Mm. This is the old turtle for the oldest turtle? Yes. For people wondering about the new war scroll, it is not the new war scroll. What? Is there a new war scroll? Yeah. How are you not using that? Because uh, the book isn't out yet. Oh, okay, right, okay. Right, yeah, right. it's Broken Realms Marathi. Turtles and sharks got upgraded. Okay. As well as Idneth got a few uh, quality of life changes. Gotcha. Turtle is a whole lot better in the new book. I was wondering how you were cheesing out on that. Tiecaster will run super fast. Uh, six plus two is eight. Uh, actually, no, you can go over. Do you like the teeth thing? What is this? Dragonborn sorcerer? That's just. Got the best seat in the house. Yeah, just, just, overlooking just, just hang out. Does the dragonborn sorcerer have a name? Uh, he's, just a he's just an NPC. Mm. He's, he's a man of many names. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, okay, right there. Chris isn't mic'd up. He said he couldn't remember what the Dragonborn was doing on, on the tower, but then just told us that he was the big bad for the Halloween special. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving uh, kind of like so. And then over to Colleen. You don't score any points because... Oh, did you tell... What realm we're playing in? Uh, so we are playing Knife to the Heart in Gur, Colin's favorite realm. It is the best realm of realms. Yes. The realm of friendship, here. right, Colin? <laughs> Especially for giants. Cool. All right, so because I have mercenaries, I have a disruptive presence. Mm -hmm. That does not give me a command point, but I did buy one. Mm -hmm. Victory point set to zero. Start of my hero phase, I'm going to cast spells. First thing I'm going to cast, or try to cast, is the Horgast. Horgast is from Forgotten or Forbidden Power. Cast on a six. Well, you even got, got the lore where it's, where it's from, Colin? Yeah. Most Successfully cast, set up the Horgast model within 12 inches of the caster. Uh, it doesn't move, it just appears, okay? Um, after that is done, uh, well, if it sets, sets up, I will give you details if it affects you. Okay. Uh, casting value six, I got plus one because I'm on arcane. I rolled a seven, plus one is eight. Sweet, in, I'm in not on range. You can have it. Okay, ooh, first time I got it on the table. You can have your mighty Pope hat. The Pope hat uh, subtracts one from bravery characteristics of units while they are within 12 inches of the model. Subtract two if they're within six inches. If it's happening in the realm of death, it can move 12 inches, which is not. So it can move 9 inches after this. Every day. And can fly. So 12 inches from here. Do your ships do things to me? Uh, oh yeah, they, I guess they do. What were they supposed to do? Uh, mortal wounds. If they're within three. Why do you have two Johans on that column? Because Johan was... That is a very coveted model. A very rare model. Is it? Yeah. See if you take mortal wounds. Oh, you take D3. He's eating my fish. Take two mortal wounds. Your man crushers. At the start of my round? Is that how it works? Uh, it should have happened during my command phase. Oh, yeah. I, th I thought you positioned out of range, but... 
No. No, they're gigantic. So. Yeah. I'm sure there are people who would give an arm and a leg for that model, Colin, which you've what they, they, haphazardly put on your base. They come with the man crushers, then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so now there are two farming Johans that are running away from one giant because I had so many kits. <laughs> <laughs> Which are painted, by the way. <laughs> Paint your models, people. Um, or, or else. Minus one to bravery, minus two. Within uh, six. Within six. Sweet. Um, what else do I want to do? Second spell. Oh, yeah, what does your thing do, Colin? What? Your... Oh yeah, I got a number roll engine. The number roll engine is a one. Is that in the back of this? So it's oh, it something. Yeah. On a one, reroll save rolls of one for targets that are wholly within twelve of the number roll engine terrain feature. And what does it change over, Colin? Well, on a, a five or six at the beginning of the round. Oh, okay. So I got plus one to the shield. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Keep okay. it there. Okay. Cool. Plus one currently. Uh, no extra command point, then we did. Uh, second spell. Mm -hmm. He's going to cast Mystic Shield. What? On the general. But oh, no, no. Did he, I already... But you already have Mystic Shield. That's only within 12 of the. You, you mean you're not going to stand there while I run Go Check at you? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a foolproof plan, Colin. He's going to cast Mystic Shield, plus one to the roll. I have a seven on the dice, plus one is eight. Uh, I am not in range to unbind. Okay, may proceed. so that is going on to the Gargant that is not the general. Who is... Who is not the general, okay. Supposed to survive. I got to protect, protect the good guys. Oops. Oh, Colin. On to my movement phase. There's 11. Some other spell. And at the end of the hero phase, I can bring guys on. Or oh, movement phase, I mean. So, I can go 11. I'm gonna see if he can fit. I gotta check what my man crusher range is. I think it's 18 inches. The range is melee range, Colin. Get in, get in there. There's only one range when you go trace on the table. <laughs> yeah. That's 18 inches. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, A very undestruction for you to say so, Colin. Into... And what, what is the movie? That's it. So he can move to the edge. Oh, come on. Colin. Stop holding on to my hand. Um, <laughs> oh, you want to go, you want me to go forward? Is that yeah, what you're Yeah, doing? yeah. Col Colin. Go truck is a hankering that only Mega Gargan blood can satisfy. He's going to move this way. Hmm. Okay, when, is, when does this end? And I have to shoot the closest model? Uh, or the closest Eidnick unit? Yes. Yes. 
so I can't focus fire? You can either shoot Gotrek or you can shoot, you can only shoot INF units, sorry, if it's the closest model. Got you. Yeah, I've played you guys before. Um, uh, can I... That I can see, because this is over the room. Starting from the third. I guess I can see those guys. Cool. Starting from the third. So if you control both of them by, at the end of the second, you win. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Because starting at the third round, you check, like if you own both of them, mm -hmm. um, when the start of the round goes, the game would trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about that with Stevie the other day, which was um, the other game that I played, but I was playing with um, ogres. Some fat ogres. Um, that's my movement. Mm -hmm. Shoot sting. Shoot sting. So they get D3 shots each. The little guys? Yeah. Okay. For the Allegiance ability. D3 attacks, fours and threes, minus one for D3 damage. And I have to shoot. I got two, three, four, five shots. Okay. And I need to shoot those eels. They ignore Ren. Correct. Right. Or you can shoot Godrek. With two of them. Yeah. Yeah, so you can either shoot the eels or two, you can, two of the gargots can hit go truck. Okay, I'm going, I was like, can't, why can't they shoot, why can't he shoot go truck? What's that? Why wouldn't he be able to shoot him? Uh, He's out of 18? No, he, this guy's out of 18. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Uh, uh, fours and threes. One, two, one, threes. Get him. Nothing. Okay. Um, the Mega Guardians has three attacks. Uh, fours and threes, minus one for D3 damage. Which he one? He has to shoot here. Overground. But his base can see through for those guys, right? Passes over an inch. What's well, the rule for overground, Colin? Uh, the, yeah. I'm trying to see it's base to base, right? Is what we're what I'm aligning up on this. Yeah. Yeah, I thought as if any part goes over. My line is like this, right? So I can see like this side of the guys. Yeah. But yeah. I thought you close it. I thought you measured closest to the two bases. Where's the core, Colin? Uh, All right, we'll consult the app. For shooting it? We're looking for the terrain, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not core. Oh my god, I brought the wrong general handbook. That's fine. It should still be in there. Or did they introduce a new table in... In 2019. <laughs> this is 2018. Uh, Where's your book? You have a small book, right? Maybe. I don't know why I brought that book. Hmm. Right, here we go. Uh, overgrown. Uh, models are not visible to each other. If an imaginary straight line one millimeter wide is drawn between the closest parts of the two models, crosses over more than one inch of any overgrown train features. So I can still shoot at that model. Uh, probably, maybe. Closest part of the two mo two is there. Oh, of the models, right? Yeah, it's the I can't just I can't just choose a part of. No, it's the closest of the two base, and that's definitely over an inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's fine. Yeah. No, so yeah, I have to measure from here. I can't measure from the side of it. Correct. Gotcha. That makes sense. Cool. My plan worked. Uh, I will not lose my models this round. The I got 24 inches with the next guy. Yeah, you do. Which can shoot the eel. He's the closest, right? Mm -hmm. More than threes? What? Who, us or them? They didn't bother splitting up the... Um 
teriyaki beef uh, or sukiyaki beef. So you and I want it spicy, so we get one bucket of spicy. Okay. Yeah. And then we have one bucket of teriyaki. teriyaki. Oh. Uh, well done. Well done. Fours and threes. Are you guys still in turn one? Uh, bottom of turn one. Yeah. Um, two hits. Two wound minus one. You don't care. Some of you guys. Two minus one. Uh, threes. Pass one, fair one. Uh, D3. Three damage. Okay. Uh, ward save from. Uh, actually, no. Uh, these guys aren't within six. That is them. Three damage. Uh, okay. Cool. That is it for now. Mm-hmm. Is what it looks like. Yep. No. Uh, no points and. No charges, because I'm out of range. Mm -hmm. uh, ghost priority. Mike Anthony! What did I get? Four! I got a three. I think I have to take it. It sucks. Because the overgrown turned out to be a poor situation. Mm -hmm. But I will go with that. Uh, you get to move this thing. I do. Move nine inches. And I get to check to see what happens. On a five or six, it changes to uh, commanding. Command it's a three. It's still Mystic Shield within that range. I get to move it nine, eh? Correct. Sweet. Mm, Goodoosh. Um, casting. He's going to try casting the chalice. Uh, actually, is that one? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want the chalice? Or do you want the chalice? He wants... Actually, the most important question. Oh, yeah, you're with it. Four. He can't walk over that. Oh, he can't walk over that? There's no wound characters like, on, on it, and it's not scenery. Oh. Uh, so that blocks that corridor for you. Oh, but I can st I can step over the building. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you got enough. Even if I moved over here, you would have still have enough to go this way, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will. I won't gram it. It's fine. Okay. Um, he's going to try casting the shall. Oh no, the Emerald Life Swarm. Emerald Life Swarm seems like a good choice here. Mm-hmm. Two command points. Um, it goes off on a six, so on a five with the plus one from the arcane is what I need on the dice. It goes off on an 11, plus one is 12. Sweet, you did it. Emerald Life Swarm appears on the table at 15 inches of the caster. Also just sets up and does not move. This happens in your phase, or? I start my command phase. Okay, so I can move away from that. I'm going to try to heal those guys. Okay. D3. Heal D3 runes. Heal three. Cool. Get them back. Get them back. Um, let me help you down to Um. Second spell. Mm -hmm. What is the range for? Wall shape. I think it's 12. Yeah. 12. Just within 12 of the caster. Yeah. Visible to them, add two to one charge. Just tight. Can get it on him. I'm gonna try casting Mystic Shield on him again. Okay. That goes off on a natural 12 plus one is 13. Mm-hmm. So he keeps his shield. Mm-hmm. You did it. I did it! And now he's gonna go crunch some... Some thralls. Thralls. And I get a command point this round, bringing me to two. Okay. Um, 
Oh, did I forget? Oh, I did forget. Ah, oh, probably so bad. That's fine. Is he here or is he not? He does give minus one bravery. Mm -hmm. Those eliminations. Oh Jesus, so fast. This coming from the guy that has flying eels that go 14 inches mm -hmm. on the pop. Yeah. It's scary facing as anything that's anywhere near as movable. Oh, as right. Me. I need to re -maneuver. Oh, wait. In the hero phase, I can kick this thing. <laughs> Get off of me, land. Uh, in your hero phase, if you have any models with the... Uh, with this. his ability within one, you can choose one of those models and say it will kick the objective away. If you do so, you can move that objective 2d6 inches. That's what I'm doing. Sorry, prior to that move. Okay. Uh, I'm kicking it. 10 Ooh. inches. 11 inches? 2d6? So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's 5, not 4. Yep. I'm kicking it 11 inches. Cool. So you're kicking it towards me, right? <laughs> I own it. Ah, no, uh, you has to be on the table. We, I, I argued that online, and people were like, "No, it needs to stay on the table." That works. I'll keep track here. I'm gonna get another mat. Just keep track of where it's been punted to for the entire game. Mm. Well, until until I get an even. Get over here. What does it 11 inches look like? Oh, well, it's got to be an inch overlap on this, right? Yeah. Is where it's kicked to. Mm -hmm. Which is hilarious. <laughs> Garbage retreat. Um You can run in charges from? Correct. Who's your caster? Uh, over here. I only get 30 of that. Sure, he'll move to here. Does he need to move up more? That's 30 there. Does he need to move up? Here, I'll run him. Okay. It's a six. He was speedy enough to get there. Okay. God. I'm just gonna fucking take both objectives with one shot here. They move 14, run and charge. He moves what? Uh, he moves four. So 10, 12 inches. With the spell, 
And then you got a 12 inch charge. I want to move back to here, 8 inches. Three Gargans huddling away from that door. <laughs> Do you want to take the old mat off since you're moving those guys? I want to take what? Do you want to take the old mat off just for oh, yeah. clarity for the folks at home? Yep. Well, I can do that. Yeah. Good call. That became interesting. Mm hmm. I think strategically moving an objective further away is helpful. Mm -hmm. I think he's good there. Oh, he was good there. Alex is still off the table. Got a leg swarm. I got that even there. Who's closer? 21. 20. I gotta shoot those guys. Cool. I will shoot there. All right. Where are you starting? Uh, so through. I need to be within range of the general for that. I don't think they got a shot. Oh, he provides. He tells them to throw rocks. Hmm. He gives. He give, He's the one that provides the darts for them to throw. Only within 18 inches of your general. Uh, no. I'll screw that up. Probably not. It's gonna be close. Ooh. It is actually really close. This guy's out. Yeah. Is it models though? Or unit. It's a unit. Uh, are you going to let me slide that back or no? Sure. Everyone gets one. <laughs> That's my second. Is this his butt? Look at that. Three D six. Two, four, five shots, fours and threes at the closest yields. Can you see the yields? From the model? Mm hmm Yeah. With the house in the way? He can't see he can't see that guy, but he can see is it this unit here? Yeah. You can see that unit. Sure. I don't sure. know how that how does that work? If not, he can't see it. These two can. Yeah, that's fine. So two D six? That's fine. We'll be 2d6. Uh, three, four, five. Same as before. Mm -hmm. Fours. That was a hit. So I'll pick that up. Three hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. I thought I rolled too many guys. One wound, minus one. Okay. Three up. Make it. Hmm. These shots go here. Uh, 3d6, fours and threes. Mm -hmm. 3d6 Nothing. shots? No, no. Uh, th three shots. I mean. Oh, three shots. Okay, three I was like, six. what? This guy's saying fours and threes. All of them missed there. Okay. Uh, maybe? Hit. Oh, yeah, it's because it's the closest. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. One hit. One wound. Minus one for d3. Uh, six up. Fail. Uh, three damage. Oh, two damage. Two damage, there you go. Okay. That's it. I am going to charge. Okay. We shall charge. Comes in with an 11. Oh. Settle oh. down. Settle down, Colin. Boom. Boom. Runs all the way to the back end here. He's deciding to do stuff. 
Uh, he does get impact damage. On a 2 plus, you take d6 mortal wounds. Crushing charge. Uh, for each enemy unit within one, so if I crash into a bunch. Mm -hmm. 2 plus, you suffer d3 mortal wounds if it's a monster, d6 if it's not. Okay. It's a 6, so it's tough. No, wait, hold on. That was just to see if it goes off. Okay. On a 2 plus, and you take 6. Colin, settle down. <laughs> it's just a friendly game. With Go Trek. <laughs> the Go Trek friendlies. <laughs> we should run a series called that. <laughs> the Go Trek friendlies. Um, okay. And now start a combat. Do you want to do anything? I'm I'm not spending any command points. Would you like to spend any command points? I'm not going to spend any command points because I can reroll really once to hit with a bunch of things anyway. Okay. Go ahead. So I will pile in first, and then I can pick a guy out and stuff him in the bag. Mm -hmm. Are there two of these guys? Two, which guys? The icon bearers? Yeah. yeah. Are those yeah. those guys are better? Yeah, those are the uh, they get plus one attack and melee, and they allow me to reroll bow shock tests. Oh, okay, got you. And then you have a one inch reach, right? Correct. So I want to get to two inches and. Was he did not pile in. You got a gauge? Uh, no. I rely on you for everything today, Colin. I got a gauge. I got two gauges, because, um, for some reason, JD acquired an extra Malign Portance gauge, and he said that this must have been mine, because mm. I'm the only Malign Portance player out there. <laughs> there you go, man. Okay, so he's got three profiles, the Almighty Stomp, which is a two-inch range, mm -hmm. two attacks, uh, threes and threes, minus two D3 damage, then he's got a Death Grip, one attack, threes and twos, minus three for D6 damage, Okay. and then the Shift Replica Clubs has a decreasing profile, eight attacks to start, threes and threes, minus two, two damage. Okay, first thing you do is the stuff in the bag, though, right? S yes, after you pile in... Uh, stuff them in the net. After the model piles in, you can pick up to D3 models within three inches. Ooh, this, within three inches of this model, roll a dice for each of them. If it's at least double the wounds characteristics, it's slain. Okay, cool. So three inches. I can pick both of those, I think. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so D3. I got two. On um, a two plus, he dies. Yeah. It's a five. Okay. Two plus, that guy does. Uh, four. Okay. And now proceed with the rest of your attacks. Cool. Uh, first attack. Death grip. You can reroll hit rolls of one for death grip attacks if it targets a monster. If they're not a monster, I have one death grip. Three. Hits. Two. Wounds. Minus three rent for d6. Uh, no save. And you take one. He kills one. He crushes one more. Between that and the bags. Okay. Uh, two attacks for the Almighty Stomp. Mm -hmm. Threes and twos. And uh, I get a one reroll possible per phase. I forgot about that. So threes. One. Oh, wait, hold on. You get to reroll against. Almighty Stomp, I can reroll against, against small guys, right? Uh, Rerolls of one of Almighty Stomp attacks, unless it's a monster. So I get to reroll that one. Yep. It hits. Uh, wounds. Uh, one wound. I'm going to take the reroll on that one. What's giving you the reroll? It's the. Uh, what do you call it? The artifact. He's the one with. The, oh, the Kraken tooth? The, the Kraken jaw bone. Reroll once per phase. And that wounds. So two mm -hmm. minus two for D3. No save. Roll your damage. D3. Then you take three, four, five. The bad jacket battle report? <laughs> Everybody's, everybody, people commenting about the fedora? It's the bad jacket, my friend. No, no, it's all about that. It's, 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 a, it's a neck, neck beard fedora that you're wearing. <laughs> Okay, so stomps and Death Gripper through mm -hmm. Ship Record Club. I got eight attacks. I don't think the unit is uh, I don't know if you can do it, Colin. There's only two of them left. Yeah. 
actually. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm missing, oh, I'm missing two models. Okay. There's two more in there? Yeah, there's two more in there. Okay. Uh, That's fine. I'm sure you'll get them. I'm hitting on threes and threes. Half of them. Three. I got three at minus two for two damage each. Okay, you got the unit. Two, four, six damage, including your... Sweet. Yeah. Anything else? That is everything. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, jeez. Back into the bin. How many points is that thing called? 480? 480. 490. These are the big ones. I think I just fucking ruined this game. <laughs> Which is good. Because then I can eat without having to disappear off to the side. <laughs> okay. So that's it for your... I did screw the game up. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh... Not sure if that's what I would have done. It says you have to wear your salmon colored suit. <laughs> I got one of those. I can do that. Hi, Jeff. It's been a long time, buddy. I've improved on my basing, if you can get a good picture of that. <laughs> All right, over to my turn. I think I just shit the bed on this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think you forgot that this guy is in easy sprinting range of you. Mm, yeah. All right, uh, are you within three? Yes. Uh, fishies. Take a mortal wound. Okay. On there. I will go up to two command points. Uh, spells. Do you, actually, how far does Mr. Usain Bolt here need to go? <laughs> uh, he actually doesn't need to go that far. All he has to do 12 inches away. So easily spinning distance. Okay, uh, we're going to cast the Bale and Vortex with the TIE Caster. Plus one. Uh, that's only six. I got two on binds. You do? I'll try. So I need a seven on the dice. That is an eight. Sweet. You did it. Cancel that Bale win. Okay. Uh, we will do a ritual to Mathlan. Uh, she's the catalyst. I need a 10. Nope, that's not a 10. That's only a four. So that doesn't happen. Uh, I get to run and shoot or run and charge. Nothing else in the command phase. Movement. We still have all those buggers. Um, he's got 35 wounds. Yes, correct. Uh, a healthy boy. Okay. Interesting. Go. How many wounds do these guys have each? Uh, 12. 12 wounds each. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to start with the eels. Uh, they are going 18. Did you only have one spell? Yeah. Okay. Well, right I've only got one spell caster. Got you. Oh, God. And it's starting at the top of the of turn three, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No longer buffed. Uh, go truck. It's a nine inch move. They're very lethal over short distances. Uh, and then the general. 
Do you have the guy that can point and make three, six charges? Make him bloodthirsty? Uh, no. No, I don't have any soul spiders in this list. These guys. Uh, you have to summon off a boardage, right? With your minions? Okay. Okay, eels. 19. Mmm. We'll go there. Running action two. Okay. Um, shooting. Bubble beam, which I forgot last round. Into the gargant. Uh, threes and threes. Oh. Not like this. Three hit. Wounding on threes. Uh, two wounds. No rend. One each. Two, no rend. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got Mystic Shield, mm -hmm. so we only one. ones. Uh, he's got a four up. Uh, takes one. Yeah, take it. One damage. Mm -hmm. They each have one. Okay. Uh, you giants only have a three inch piling, right? They don't have any of that Yeti. That's correct. Shenanigans. That's correct. We will start here. Uh, da, da, that's only a four. They get to naturally re-roll because they got banners. It's a nine inch. I like this. I like this. Uh, go check. Can he do it? Eight inch. Uh, you can't do any retreaty bullshit, can you? No. Okay. That's fine. Boodoosh. Okay, that's it for charges. No, con no impact damage? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's four feet tall. <laughs> uh, I will spend a command point to give him Mystic Shield. I will. For all defense. Hmm. Sure. You already have Mystic Shield back there? Mm -hmm. So do you. Um. Uh, that's it. I don't think I'll do anything. I will activate Go Track. Uh, do I want to fish for sixes? Or, sure, we'll fish. We'll fish for sixes. That's fine. Take seven mortal wounds. Okay. And then five Evren two. That six is rerolling one. Save one, the rerolls don't do anything, so four. Uh, three each, three, six, nine, 12 damage. 
12 is 20. Is that 20? Yeah. Uh, I screwed up on this guy. What? No, you're fine. He can take out six eels, no problem. He is touching base to base with that guy though, so he can fire him this way. I'll run around to that side. Okay. Abhorrent Arch Regent has seven attacks, threes and threes. I am the Tenebrous Court, so I had one to hit rolls for attacks made with Fleshy the Court's mercenary units that made a charge move in the same turn only. So, okay, so the threes and threes. Mm hmm. Six attacks, seven attacks, one, two, three, four, five, seven, three and three. Okay. And three, so there's anything else left? You can heal in the round. Oh, that's just a spell. All right, that's it. Okay, uh, three. Mm -hmm. Two, four, five, minus one rend, one damage each. Okay, I ignore the rend, and I get plus one save on the charge, so I'm on threes. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay, one damage each. Uh, you can reroll ones because you're within 12 inches of the, what do you call it? Oh, sweet. Not much better. Uh, it's just one damage each, One right? damage each, yeah. Okay. Kills an eel, wounds another. Those guys have to pile in the other way, or at least that one does. Yeah. The one that you're holding in your left hand has yeah. to pile in towards the man eaters. Yeah, so then there we go. Pile in half inch closer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, three dudes. Is the prince in there? Yes, he is. Okay. So saber, uh, start with the held sabers. Three attacks each. An additional attack from uh, the prince. Uh, threes and threes. Did you kick the objective and then for me to stand with? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, that's why I said this game might be over. Because I forgot also he gets the running charge in the second turn and just thrash into things. Yeah. Uh, seven saves, no rent. Seven saves, two, four, six, seven, fours. We're rolling ones because he's within there, so he saves. Uh, take three. Okay, one each. Seven wounds. Okay, uh, D3 tail slots each. Uh, that turns into three, that turns into three, that turns into two. Threes and threes. I think I might have actually been standing on the other objective when I moved them over to, so. <laughs> which, which is what we can rewind it and, and check the feed to see if that's what screwed me up. Uh, three, no end. Uh, four up, three rolling ones. Save one, take two. Okay, one average each. Yeah, I think your guys by the blacksmith there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, tail slap or bite, sorry. Hit, hits on threes, wounds on threes. Two, no end, D three. Two, no end. Four up, three rolling ones. Snake eyes on that and get the reroll. Uh, failed both of them. 
D3, uh, six damage. Okay, now you get to go with your Kraken Eater. And then you get to go with your Kraken Eater. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's at 20 wounds now, so that's dropped him off quite a bit. Yeah, it just affects his movement, right? Yeah, right. he gets one less club attack. Oh. And his throwing attacks are shallow. W what a shame. The... Almighty Stomp. And he gets the reroll. That guy has a uh, the Kraken Jungle. Two attacks, threes and threes, minus two for D3. Mm -hmm. uh, threes. I'll reroll that one once per phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it connects. Threes. One minus two for D3 damage. Six, rerolling ones, rerolling ones. Fail. Uh, it's one damage. Okay, three up, ignore. I ignore it. Yeah. Uh, death grip, it's a three and two. Mm -hmm. Hits, uh, wounds on a two. Wounds, minus three for d6. Okay, uh, no save, but it becomes one damage. It's five damage to do one, and you've ignored it. Yep. And my crushing grip is not working on this guy. Nope. I get seven attacks. Nope, Once Gojek you... is lubed up. He, <laughs> he's a slippery, a slippery little bugger. Three, four, five, six, seven. Threes and threes here. Uh, no. Threes. I got two through, minus two for two damage each. Sixes, rerolling ones. I reroll that one. Pass one, and then in. It's one damage, it's two damage. Three so up. Turn to one. Ignore it. And you've ignored it. You've done 20 wounds to me, and I've done zero <laughs> to you. <laughs> is, that, is that it? Uh, that is everything, and then you get to pile in a second time yeah, because I'm still within. Six yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, I, oh, but you get to reroll everything. <laughs> I get to reroll everything. Uh, one. Only a single D6. Take one mortal wound. Okay, he might survive this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, four saves, Ren 2. Uh, so he is a four. Uh, Ren 2 is a six, and he's got rerolling ones. I saved one. Two damage each? Three damage each. Nine so, damage. Oh, yeah. Still alive. 30. Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> ha! I survived Gotrek. You survived a round of Gotrek. I am not going to lose. Oh, wait. I wouldn't have even got my objective, the auxiliary objective, because I've been holding that for the second time. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. I didn't lose a single model. Clock it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And it goes to priority. All right. Uh, Battle shock is nothing. Correct. Uh, I don't get a pile in over here, do I? Uh, you didn't pile in close enough, right? No. No, the intent no. was to be three away from both. Yeah. My Anthony! One. A, that's a two. It, it really doesn't matter, though, because at the start of the round, I you control. control both objectives and get it. three round win. Well, well done. Yeah. A very anticlimactic. Climactic. No, it, no it, it shows that you can't kill a giant in one round with Gothrek, which is which is fun. Nah, uh, not when I roll like that. Nah, it's possible to survive that. So. Oh, yes. Good. All right, good game. That's it. Good game. With, um, I, I have... You've knifed my, the heart of my guardians. Yes, and killed your crappy vampire. Yes. Oh, you did. Uh, I did. The mercenary's gone. Oh, giants get to go home safe and sound. Yeah. You lost the unit. I lost the unit. Uh... Yeah, this was Fine. a mistake. I should have been here. Uh, yes, you definitely should have been the there. the back toe and then forcing you here. Yeah. If you did that, yeah, it was just a fucking mistake. Yeah, um, yeah you should not have moved off that objective. I think it's because I was using the other objective. I want to rewind on, on the feed and see what happens. But anyway, thank you very much, Grim Forge. Uh, for having this, and thank you, Rodney. Yes, that was, that was good. More, more, more elbows. <laughs> yeah. Your first flailing against giants is over. Yeah. I don't feel bad at all, Ringo Trek. <laughs> I, I don't either. Because <laughs> clearly, clearly, it's, clearly 30, it's warranted. 30, 30 wins. Cool. Uh, right. And if we're lucky, depending on what's going on, if the game's this quick. Chris might be interested in living his play. Uh, thank you.
right? Eating time. Eating time. Kill the feed. So long, guys. Bye, guys.